one guy who's uh, who's not going to be taking any finishers except uh, I think his finish is running to the bank with a sack of cash is Tony Khan, the owner and CEO of All Elite Wrestling. Of course, everybody was ridiculing Tony when he booked his show all out at Wembley Stadium in London, which has a capacity of 90,000. Guys, they sold 50,000 tickets in the pre-sale. They've sold another around uh, 10 to 15,000 tickets. So they're right they're over the 60,000 mark so far with no matches announced on this card. Zero. They could put up like Will Nightingale and Sky Blue as the main event. And that's what you will get. Now, highly doubtful they would do that. I wouldn't but, think so. You know, well, maybe pretty Peter But hey, Avalon. the tickets are sold already, right? Yeah. So you got them. What em. difference does it make? You got them. Why not? <laughs> what difference does you it know? make? <laughs> yeah, let's do, heard, that'd be funny. It would be really funny. We're gonna, <laughs> hey, <laughs> it's, an a, it's our final AEW Dark show right, at right. Wembley yeah. Stadium. It's, right. it's bare, a bunch of squash matches. It's Bear Bronson against pretty Peter Avalon in the uh-huh. main event. Yeah. No, nah, that's yeah. That would be painful. That'd be a good twist. But you know, one thing that struck me about this, or there's there's two points that I want to make coming out of this is number one, one thing I couldn't believe was how many people were just shredding AEW and just coming up with all this crazy stuff about, you know, they cut the seating capacity to forty thousand. Uh, you know, there's no way they're gonna sell these tickets. And when they did sell the tickets, they were just ripping AEW apart. And I can't understand why you would be rooting for something in professional wrestling like that to fail. It's good for everybody. It's good for the industry. It's good for the performers. It's good for the fans. The more competition you have out there, the better off everybody is. And it, it, the, the hate that came out about this was just absolutely blowing me away. And and one thing that I, I can't stand is when you're jealous of somebody who's successful and you tear them apart instead of looking and saying, you know what, look what that guy did. Nice job. Right. Way to go. Right. Guy, so let me ask your thoughts on, on all that. How are you feeling about what AEW has done with this show in Wembley, guys? Uh, Dave, why don't you fire away? Uh, so tell me this. Who is hating? Who who is the who's the most vocal about? It? Oh, there's just a ton of people on Twitter and social media. So it's, it's the fans, fans, yeah. Right? Oh, the fans hating. Um, yeah, I, I again, I would have no clue why they would. What's the, what's their what's their stance? I think it's because they pick a side. Uh, that's what you see with this WWE. You're saying w- w- yeah, like okay. it would be no different if it's like when WWE goes to Saudi. You hear a lot from the AEW fans of like, oh, they're going to be in Saudi Arabia, and you you hear that kind of thing. It's it's really weird. Like they don't root for each other; they root against each other. They want WWE show to stink. They want AEW show to stink. They want the ratings to be poor. It's very strange. Brand beef. But we all look at it. But Mark, we all look at it from a big picture perspective, right? You know, fans aren't. They only see it in this little window of who they watch and who they root for. So if they love WWE, they don't want anything to come around that could mess up the WWE picture they have or vice versa. And I think that's why you see probably mostly WWE fans hoping that the AEW Wembley Stadium experiment is a huge failure, which obviously it isn't going to be. Yeah, I don't even understand. Like, I, I don't know. The people people are crazy these days it, yeah <laughs> like everybody's weird. got an opinion it's like i don't even get it like if it's not for you don't watch it don't even talk about it but they want to spew this negativity yeah. you know and i don't get it i agree with you mark it's like it's good for the business um it's good for everybody whether you're Absolutely. a fan or not it like gives you a different perspective somebody else doing something different i mean the world evolves mm-hmm. that's that's a part of life right yeah, yeah. You, you, you know you, you, as a wrestling fan you should be enjoying this you should be thrilled that these two companies are pushing each other to the limit Plus, then it brings in, you know, you have Impact, who's stepped up their game considerably, and other companies. You you see indie promotions, you know, like, for example, all the ones that are flying around in Las Vegas, not just FSW. There, There's so many opportunities for people in the industry, and, you know, not just performers, but, you know, people that are, you know, doing booking and promotions and so on, to expand what they're doing because you're popularizing wrestling even more. Why would you not want that? I don't know. That's just me. 